Well, good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Live Prayer right here in uh, my my office, my home office. I'm uh, so glad that you would choose to join here with us today. Um, this is a time where we get to come together as a community to pray for one another, pray for our nation, pray for our community, pray for the world. So if you're joining us today for the first time, we do this every day at 3 o'clock, Monday through Friday. And um, this is just an opportunity for us to gather together. And I am going to be pulling this up here. All right. So, looks like we got our first viewer here today. Welcome. This is a time where we get to come together to join together in community of prayer. Shelly, I see you're there watching. Welcome aboard. Rudy, good seeing you, brother. Hope you're doing good out in Washington. Um, this is a time where we get to come together and lift each other up in prayer. If there's something that you need prayer for, put those down in the comment section. We'll see that. We'll get to pray with that live here today. Um, we're also going to be praying for our country, for the world, for the people in government, for our churches, for everybody. We need to be praying for everybody in this world right now. Um, that they would just be finding peace and finding comfort. Um, one thing that's on my mind right now today is uh, I'm thinking about all the people that are affected without the jobs. I'm thinking about our... Um, the people that are working in the restaurants, the food services right now. Um, a friend of mine back home in Washington uh, was working in food services, um, delivering food to and from places. The person that was ordering that food, he lost his job because all the other restaurants had to close down, so they didn't have a need for him. So I'm thinking of, I'm thinking of those kind of people that are that are just out of out of the job right now. I'm um, thinking about our our barbers. I I haven't had a haircut in. A long time I'm due for one and uh, I can't get one because my barber isn't able to cut my hair and so I'm not cutting my hair right now and uh, just to show solidarity with them that I'm gonna wait until they can cut my hair because they need our business our small businesses need our business Darren good seeing you brother I'm glad glad to see you on I'm praying for you daily brother um, praying for our truck drivers we need to pray for the truck drivers, the people that are working in shipping and receiving, that they would, that they would be safe as they go to and from places. I mean, a lot of these people, they're going right into the heart. They're going right into the heart of places that are most affected, like New York City. You know, I'm thinking about thinking about my brother Darren. Hey, buddy, that's driving truck, and uh, recently he was in New York, and you know, I'm just praying for the truck drivers that are going there. Eunice, good seeing you. Thank you for joining us. I think about our healthcare workers, the, the people that are on the front lines right now in the hospitals that are putting themselves at risk just so they can help the people like you and me that are struggling with this virus get better. So I just let's just pray for a hedge of protection around those people. And I think there's power in this too where it says that where there's two or more gathered that... God is gathered in our midst as well. Sandy, so glad to be seeing you. We miss you, and we're so glad that you would join us. Uh, let's see. And like I said earlier, if you have any prayer requests, please put those down in our comments section. We will see that. We're going to be lifting that up in prayer. Let's see, let's see, Marjo just commented, Boris Johnson, Britain's leader, is in intensive care with coronavirus. Spare his life. Yes, Marjo, we need to be praying for that. I didn't. I just saw. I think I just saw an article about that as well. And uh, we need to be praying for our our world leaders that are that are dealing with this. And right now uh, in England, there I think it's the prime minister. Am I right? The prime minister. I'm pretty sure um, is in fact in intensive care with COVID nineteen. And so, be praying for them. Be praying for that person. That family. Um, because at the end of the day, just because they are a prime minister or president or whatever, they're humans just like you and me. And they're dealing with the same stuff that we're dealing with. So, God, we just come before you in prayer. God, we come before you and we just ask that you would be, be with this family. 
be with Boris as he's in intensive care right now, God. We just ask that you would that you would bring him through this disease, God. I think of the pastor down in Georgia, that uh, a, a local pastor here in town um, that knows that is also struggling with uh, COVID-19, God. We just ask that you would that you'd be working through the doctors and the medical team and just pull them through this, God. We just ask that you'd be with them. We ask that you'd be with the healthcare providers, God. We ask that you'd be with the doctors, the nurses that are working in these hospitals, God. The front lines of this battle, God. Mm. Okay, now we're now we're cooking here. Let's see. Yeah. God, I see Shelly's prayer request right now. Struggling with realizing how far behind Elizabeth really is, God. Having her in school, I guess. Yeah, God, we we ask that you be with Shelly and Darren during this time of um, trying to figure out how to do do school with Elizabeth right now, God. We just ask that the anxiety and the fear that comes with the unknown, God, would just be kept at bay, God. We would just put all our trust into you, Almighty Father. Yes. Cheryl, good seeing you. Glad you could join us. Carla, glad you could join us. All right, yes. Yeah, so Eunice says, prayer for J. Sars back surgery at Fargo Sanford tomorrow. Yes, we would pray, God, that you would just have your hand over Jay as he goes into surgery tomorrow, God. Would you have your hand over the doctors? Would you be just guiding their their movements and give them wisdom, God, as they as they perform the surgery, God? Yes, God. Pray for Melinda Forsman in the kidney stone surgery tomorrow. Yes, God, same thing. God, we just ask that you would work through the surgeons, work through the nurses, God. Give them wisdom and guidance as they work to come through and bring out those kidney stones that are afflicting her, God. Carla says, pray for God's people. Yes, we pray for God's people. We pray for, we pray for the people of this world, God. The people that you want so desperately to be in relationship with, God. We just pray, God, during this week, this holy week, God, that people would turn to you and accept the gift of grace, God. That they would accept your gift. God, we love you. God, we trust you. God, we just pray that the people in this world right now that are experiencing so much anxiety, so much fear in not having control, God, not being in control of the situation that's going on, God, that they would be able to put their trust into you. God, God we just ask that you would do a mighty, mighty work, God. God, would your children, the ones that call on you, that call on the name of Jesus, that follow you, God, would we have open hearts and open minds, God, that you would use us to reach and further your kingdom, God. God, to further it through love, through Jesus' holy and precious name, God. And that we would take the commandment that you gave us seriously, that we are to love our God with all our hearts, all our minds, and all our being, God, and then to love our neighbors as we love ourselves, God. Yes, God, we ask that. Let's see. Yeah, Carla, we are praying for your job situation, God. We pray that you would uh, be the ultimate provider right now, God. We pray for the situation that's going on right now at work with Carl, God. And um, not all of us are aware of what's going on, God, but you know what? You know what's happening right now with Carla and her job. And we just ask that you would have your hand in that, God, that you would be working in that, God. God, you say that you will never leave or forsake us, God. You'll be with us to the ends of the ages, God. You're going to be with Carla through this, God. 
you're going to be with all of us that are going through different situations in our job, God. Whether we are laid off, whether our businesses are closing with no hope of reopening, God. I just read the other night about a movie theater um, in this country, a very big movie theater that is potentially on the verge of closing its doors for good because of this. And I'm thinking of all the people, all the workers that are going to be without jobs. You know, when this whole thing started, they were hoping that, you know, a couple of weeks go by and we'll be back to normal. Yeah, but if, if their doors close for good, that means those jobs are gone for good, God. And we just ask that you would you would be with those people that are that are facing that today. We ask that you'd be with the small business owners right now as they're as they're making tough choices and they're going through hardships as well. <sighs> Hi Pastor Sean, glad you could join us. Let's see, Marja says, Joshua one nine, have I not com- have I not commanded you be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened and do not be dismayed, for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Amen, Marja. Thank you so much for coming in clutch with that verse. So glad that you could do that for me. Jordan Herrick, so glad you're with me, brother. I I pray for you guys. I'm hoping things are going good back at your church there, and I believe it was Wisconsin. Um Hope you're doing well, man. Praying for you guys. And um, we as the church, not just be, not just the Lutheran brethren, not just the Christian, but we as the church, the big C church, need to come together and just be lifting each other up in prayer. This isn't about Victory Lutheran Church. This isn't about the Lutheran brethren. This is about the big C church and what it stands for. And uh, we want to be here in we want to be lifting each other up in prayer. And so this is what we get to do. Monday through Friday at 3 o'clock every day, we come together to pray for our community, to pray for our nation, to pray for our leaders, to pray for our communities, to pray for our kids, to pray for our health care workers and the people that are struggling day in and day out. God, not just... Not just during this season that we're in right now, but every day. God, I, I, I'm asking and believing right now that this would be a revival. That this would be an awakening of your people, God. That we wouldn't just... That we wouldn't just be coming together during times of crisis to lift up each other in prayer, God. But we would continue to do this through all the ends of the... All the ends of our days, God, that we would be lifting you up in the good times and in the bad times, that we'd be praising your name, God, praising you for things like Chris Meidinger finding out the other day that she's completely healed of her cancer. Praise you, God, for that. You know, praising you for miracles of like people that aren't losing their job, God, that were that were fearing that they were going to be losing their job, and here they are, and you've delivered them through that, God. Amen. Hallelujah. But even more so, God, we want to praise you in the middle of this week, what it stands for. This is Holy Week, God. This past Sunday, we just we celebrated Palm Sunday. And then on Friday, we get to come together in remembrance of what happened on that day that we call Good Friday. And that is, you were crucified. You were beaten. And you were, you were killed for our transgressions, God. But we can hold on to the hope that comes on Sunday, just three days later. And that is that you rose from the dead to give us everlasting life, God. And what an amazing promise that is. So if you're joining us today for the first time, I just want to say welcome. Thank you for joining us. If you have any prayer needs, you can type those down in the bottom. It's going to be anything big, small, doesn't matter. It's all going to be seen and heard in God's eyes. And we're going to do something as a community, and we're going to lift that up in prayer. Now, there might be something that's on your heart that you might not be comfortable sharing in a public forum like Facebook, and that's okay. If you want, you can hit the message button, send the Facebook page a message, or you can send us a message on our daily digest email if you're on our emailing list, and we'll see that as a church, and we'll be praying for that. And when I say church, I mean staff. 
We'll see that as a staff. We'll get to be praying for that and lifting you up in prayer. And I'm a firm believer where it says, where two or more are gathered, that God is with us in our midst. Like Marta said in Joshua and chapter 1, verse 9, Have I not commanded you, be strong and courageous, do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. That is such a beautiful reminder, Marja. I'm so thankful for that reminder. So I would just ask, what can we be praying for? What can I be praying for for you today? Right now, I want to be praying for our country. God, we ask that you'd be with the leaders of our country. God, regardless if you're Democrat or Republican, God, we just ask for a spirit of of bipartisanship that would come together for the common good of eradicating this disease, God, and working together for the betterment of America as a whole, God. God, we pray for for our churches. I pray for my brothers and sisters back home in Washington right now. I I'm thinking specifically of a church community that um, is very dear to my heart. I'm thinking of right now specifically um, Grace Church Mount Vernon. (laughs) I'm thinking and praying for you guys right now. And I'm praying for the pastor, Pastor Billy Farrar. I'm, I'm praying that you would continue to work through Pastor Billy as he works to bring his services online, as he works to continue to reach out to his members and to love and be the hands and feet, God. And I just ask, God, that you would you would continue to further your kingdom there. You know, I think of that community right now. You know, a couple of weeks ago they weren't they were the talk of all the news outlets being ground zero, God. God, right now we pray for the other hot spots in this country and in this world, God. I think of places like New York City, places like New York, where it's just a hotbed. God, we pray for the governor there. We pray for the mayors, for the senators, for any leader, any person in power, God. We just pray that you would guide them, guide their hearts, guide their actions, guide their words, God. Mm. But God, we also we just pray for we pray for the medical teams that are there, putting themselves on the front lines day in and day out, risking their own health just so they can they can help others. Yeah, God. We just pray a hedge of protection around those doctors and those nurses. And those hospital employees. Yeah. Let's see. Florinda, so glad you could join us. Danielle, get seeing you on here. Hope you guys are doing good out there in Bend, Oregon. Um, this is an opportunity where we can come together and pray as a community. Um, so if you have any prayer requests, something I can be praying for specifically, Throw those down in the comments section. Let me see those prayers. Let's lift those up together as a community for where it says in the Bible, where two or more are gathered, that God is in the midst there. (sighs) Let's pray right now. I'm going to pray for our teachers and for our kids. Uh, Part of my job at Victory LC, uh, Victory Lutheran Church, is to work with our students. Um, It's been an interesting season. Uh, I'll say that it's been a very interesting season working with our kids uh, in a virtual in a virtual sense um, where a lot of my job I'd say probably close to 100% of my job is face to face interaction with kids and I uh, I haven't been able to do that we've been having to get really creative by using things like Zoom and Google Hangouts and Netflix parties it's been fun it's been great um, also if you haven't heard uh, this is going to be a little plug for Disney Plus uh, there's a movie called Onward on Disney Plus. Great movie. If you haven't seen it, it's on Disney Plus. Hit it up right now. You'll probably cry because I did. It was great. Um, but let's pray for our students. Let's pray for our kids right now that are adjusting to a new norm of uh, 
being in being homeschooled not everyone is homeschooled so god we come before you and we just ask that you would be with our kids right now be with the students that are just trying to adjust to a new norm god to these kids that are are so used to being able to go to school and be in their community and do to do things like do athletics and and clubs and god all that's gone away and right now these kids are struggling with trying to figure out how to how to mesh home life and school life and putting it together god and a lot of these kids are feeling feeling anxiety feeling isolated because they're away from their friends they're away from their community and uh some of these kids they just don't know what to do so god i pray against the loneliness i pray against the anxiety that these kids are feeling right now my heart goes out to them you know and my heart goes out to the kids that are homeschooled too this is this isn't normal for them either i mean they are able they're able to get away and go to to youth groups and things like that but now they're they're completely stuck at home so for them this isn't this isn't a time for new changes as well for them so god we pray for them during this transition we pray for the parents. We pray for the, the the guardians that are trying to figure out how to how to homeschool their kids on the fly. You know, a lot of them having to learn how to do things that they just don't understand, like Common Core math. I don't get it. I don't get it, God. <laughs> and I'm just thankful that I don't have to teach it. And uh, but I know that there's parents out there that are they're having to to be there to answer questions for their kids because their teachers aren't always readily available for them. But God, we just ask that you would continue to do the good work, to continue to be there for these kids, to continue to reveal to them who you are. God, I think of... Uh, right now, I'm thinking of the students in Jamestown right now that are, are reeling from a unexpected and tragic loss of a classmate. God, we pray for comfort and for peace during that time, God. In a time when we were would we would normally be able to come together and grieve together, God we aren't able to do that. So God I just ask that you would Provide us outlets to grieve together. God, whether it's just kids knowing that they aren't the only ones that are going through it, God. You know, God, whether we're using things like Zoom or Google Hangouts just to, to talk and reflect on this beautiful young girl's life, on who she was. God, I pray for peace. I pray for comfort to her family. God, I think about the the young baby she left behind. God, and I just pray. I pray for that child. I pray for the I pray for her mom and her dad. And the brothers and the sisters that she probably left behind and the aunts and the uncles and the grandparents as they all are trying to process and grieve this loss. I couldn't imagine trying to do that in a time like this when I couldn't be with my family. So God, I just ask that you would be with them. Amen. Chad Beagle, I haven't seen you in a dog's age, buddy. Hope you're doing well too, man. Oh, man. So yeah, if you're joining us today for the first time, uh, what we do as a community, we come together to pray. Because it says in the Bible, where two or more are gathered, that God is with us. And this is an opportunity where we can come together and share share what's on our hearts. Share prayer requests. And we can be lifting that up as a community. You know, we don't do this to be, to be boastful or to be showful, God. But we, we do this so we can lift each other up. And be a community when we can't get together in person. So I'm going to be here. 
Let's see here. Yeah, let's see what time it is. I think we've been going for a little bit though. So I'm going to I'm going to be on here for a few more minutes. And if you have any more prayer requests, put those down in the comment section. I'll see that. I would love to pray with you. But if not, let's just be praying, be mindful of like the things that we can be praying for right now. You know, whether it's your local government, your mayor, your senators, the president of the United States, regardless if you're a Democrat or Republican, we should be praying for our leaders. Danielle, thank you so much for that compliment. I really miss you guys. I hope you guys are doing good. Uh, and tell Billy, scoop and score for me. I miss that guy. Yeah. But we need to be praying for those things. We need to be praying for our doctors, the medical professionals that are on the front lines of this battle daily putting themselves at risk. We need to be praying for their families. We need to be praying for just the health and the recovery of the world, not just the United States of America, but the world in general. And I think what an opportunity to do that and to be able to do this during Holy Week. One of the most important weeks as a, as a believer is Holy Week because it was the fulfillment of the amazing prophecy that God made that he was coming back for us the rescue plan that started when Adam and Eve fell so with that I'm going to close our time here I'm just going to pray this real quick to close out our time Father God, I'm just so thankful for this community that we can gather together virtually on the internet. God, and that you're with us and you're hearing these prayers. God, I pray for each and every every person that's watching this, whether they're watching this live or watching this later on today. God, I just pray that you would be with them and that you would be known in their hearts. God, I pray for safety for all of these people that are watching right now. God, I pray that you'd be with them wherever they're at. God, I pray that you would continue to do a good work and to reveal yourself in new ways to them. God, we pray for this world that's hurting right now. A world that's scared and anxious. God, would they find true peace? in you would they find true peace in Jesus in Jesus powerful name we pray amen well thank you for joining us today and uh, my name I, I think I didn't even think to tell you my name my name is Conan I am the creative arts and youth director at Victory Lutheran Church and it is my pleasure to get to pray with you today and uh, join us again tomorrow as we come together we'll be coming together as a staff at 3 p.m. tomorrow to pray and we do this every day Monday through Friday and we would love to have you and if this has been a blessing for you would you invite your friends and your family to come and join in this because this is what it's all for we're doing this for the community and we would love for you to join our community and to be part of our family so that again, tomorrow, 3 o'clock Central Time, join us and let's pray together and build this community from the ground up. Thank you for joining. God bless. We love you guys, but God loves you more. Great day.